Hey guys, and welcome to Car Guy 1999 Reviews as well as Quirk Automotive. Today, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm giggling because I just, this has been a childhood dream car of mine for the longest time. This is the 2012 Chevrolet Corvette Z06. This is the C6 generation of the Corvette. We are now in the C8 generation with mid-engine. For the C6 gen, the Z06 only came in a six-speed manual. Oh God, that sound. Oh, what a fantastic car. Absolutely fantastic. 427 here signifies that the motor is 427 cubic inches or seven liters in a time where most family sedans like the Camry have a 2.0 liter four cylinder this is over three times the size of that motor nice Z06 on the kick plates oh god I love my job <laughs> Nice leather seating. Nice aftermarket shift knob. I actually personally really like it. Fin six. You have competitive driving mode. We'll be leaving everything on. I mean, at the end of the day, we're in the middle of the city, so. And it's a dealer's car. We're not going to be doing donuts. That's just stupid. If I did do donuts, I would have replaced the tires. Because I don't want to give it back with bald tires. And I don't have the money for these rear tires. Take it nice and easy over this uneven surface. Because at the end of the day, it's a very, very low sports car. And while all the under tray is actually, believe it or not, considered a wear item, uh, underneath the front splitter is a little kind of plastic protector. And it's considered a wear item by Chevrolet, which is pretty funny. So if the car scrapes nine times out of 10, you're not doing any damage whatsoever. Even on this really, really rough terrain that this car was really never meant to be on. Really composed. Oh, nice little burbles from the exhaust, because why not? With very, very low cars, you take dips like these at an angle, because if I were to take that straight on, that wouldn't be good. Holy tamales. And that's why we're leaving trash control on, because I didn't expect it to break loose like that. You know, this just brings out 
I don't get the people, ooh, nice Ghibli. I don't get the people that say the Corvette isn't a sports car. This is more fun than a lot of Porsches I've driven. This is the pinnacle of American muscle car. Oh, you know, a good muscle car, you should be scared to floor it. This car, I'm scared. You know, it's, it's controllable, do not get me wrong. But it gets quick fast. Ah, uh, stop throwing rocks at me. What did I do wrong? I'm sorry if I'm acting like a child in this video, you know, or just you'll you'll hear the occasional giggle and stuff like that. That just shows the emotion that this car has. The C8 is great. The C7 is fantastic. I've not driven the C8, but I've driven the C7 a bunch. It just does not have the soul that this car does. Sure, it might be quicker. The interior is nicer. But I don't care about that. What I care about is a car being fun to drive all the time. This is fun when you're going slow, when you're hooning it on a track. It's awesome. I've been lucky enough, uh, thanks to Tuner Army, go ahead and give his channel a shout out. Um, I've been lucky enough to have one of these for an extended period of time, about four to five hours, I think it was. It never got old. Um, I was finding little things to film just so I could delay bringing the car back. Um, sorry if you're finding out about that for the first time. But I was just doing whatever I could to drive that car. You know, if I had one of these, I'd constantly be like, well, I used one egg today. Oh, I guess it's time to take the Corvette to the grocery store to buy a carton of eggs. You know, I'd constantly be finding little things that I needed to go do so I could drive the Corvette. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.